Well, this is one of those stories that we are extremely proud to share with you. It's about a Pennsylvania Turnpike worker who was doing his job when something extraordinary happened. A woman was giving birth on the Turnpike. Well, today she had a chance to thank that man for coming to her rescue. CBS Philadelphia Montgomery County reporter Kim Hudson has the heartwarming reunion from Abington. Hi! <laughs> How are you? This hug has been a long time coming. Ooh, of course. Around 3 a.m., June 16th, Father's Day, Andrina Reed called 911 for help. With her one year old in the back seat of her SUV, she was trying to get to the hospital. That's because she was in labor with her second child on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I remember calling 911. <laughs> And I would just, I couldn't tell him anything where I was or nothing. I was just happy to see somebody right. other than myself and the baby. <laughs> like The first person to finally find her between Norristown and Fort Washington was Turnpike Maintenance Utility Worker Robert Stanger. When I finally looked down and I saw a, 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 a baby, you know, 90% coming into the world. The baby has been born. Uh, it is breathing on its own. That's Stanger talking calmly to PA Turnpike Dispatch. When the ambulance arrived, he led them to Andrina and her brand new baby weighing seven pounds, 10 ounces. Oh my God, he's awesome, yeah. Andrina's next call was to the child's father, Santana Reed. So I see the cops, I drive all the past the cops speeding, like I'm doing like 80. That early morning was the last time the couple saw Stanger, but on Thursday at Jefferson Abington Hospital, Stanger got to say hello again to little Santana Reed. Cool, he's... He's, he's a little little dude. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> and for his help, mom says Stenger now has a special place in her heart. God, he's an angel. He's my angel. And mom says she hopes to share more moments like this with Stenger as the baby grows. In Abington, Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.